What's up, y'all? Welcome to this online commentary over the book of John. My name's Logan. Welcome to my office. Got the Nintendo 64 right up here. And so you might be thinking, why are we doing a, uh, a, a online commentary over the book of John? And the reason is simple, is that the gospels or the good news of Jesus are simple enough that a child could understand but complex enough that we can study them for our entire lives. And so as we go through scripture together, as we understand the context of what's going on in God's word, it helps us to better apply to our lives and we can have a better understanding of a better head knowledge of what was going on so that we can apply it to our heart and it can impact us more fully right now. And so the book of John, oddly enough, was written by a guy named John. And now John was one of Jesus' disciples, and the disciple was someone who was following Jesus. And so, uh, in a close way, there's 12 disciples listed. Jesus had many more followers than that. But these 12 guys spent a great deal of time with Jesus. Now, out of those 12, Peter, James, and John, the author of our book, John, uh, were really in Jesus' inner circle. And John, in this book, actually describes himself, as he's writing, as the beloved disciple, the disciple whom Jesus loved. So they had a very close relationship, and John is writing this to tell of the signs and wonders, the miracles that Jesus performed. And a lot of people would describe the book of John as, as very different from the other Gospels because it's filling in the gaps. John is telling stories that were not found in the synoptic gospels. So there's four gospel books. Stay with me here. There's Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Now Matthew, Mark, and Luke were the synoptic writers, or they're the synoptic gospels. And what that means is they were giving a synopsis, a general breakdown, a summarization of Jesus' life. And so John comes in, tells stories that aren't found in the other Gospels, tells of the signs and miracles that Jesus did so that his audience, us as his audience even today, would understand that Jesus was the Messiah. And what do we mean by Messiah? That uh, all throughout the Old Testament, this is the time before Jesus was around, God was interacting with his chosen people, the Israelite people, in a special way. He would appoint prophets, and that's just a fancy way of saying he would appoint people to tell of the works of God and to tell what God's plan was for his chosen people. And these prophets kept pointing to this Messiah, this Christ, this um, person who was going to come and rescue not just the Israelite people, but all of the world. And so uh, at this time, the, the audience would have been patiently awaiting the coming of this Messiah. And John is saying, hey, listen, this is who Jesus was. He is the fulfillment of the Old Testament. And that if you know of his signs and the wonders and the miracles that he did, you're going to understand him as the Messiah. And that if you put your faith in him and believe in him, you can have eternal life. And that word belief is a theme that we continue to see in the book of John as a major theme. This idea of, hey, this is what Jesus did. Now we need to believe in that. And so that's a little bit of an introduction into the book of John. And so keep joining us as we trek through the 21 chapters of the book of John.